Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be talking about black hole questions. So in this video I'm going to be answering a couple of questions about black holes. The thing is with black holes is they're so mysterious and so weird that a lot of people want to know exactly what they are. The thing is scientists and physicists and everyone involved don't exactly know themselves. So I'm just going to go through a couple of questions and give you a quick answer about black holes. So what happens if you fall directly into a black hole? This would be quite an unpleasant experience. Basically just talking what your body would do falling into a black hole. Well the main problem is the difference of the gravitational force between your feet and your head as you fall in. Since your feet will be a bit closer to the black hole than your head, assuming that you go in feet first, the gravitational pull on your feet will be stronger than your head. The closer that you get to a black hole, the bigger the tidal forces will become. At first, you'll just feel a sort of stretching feeling, and then eventually will increase beyond comfort level, as Neil deGrasse Tyson would say. At this point, your body will probably be torn apart. But this is just the beginning. As you fall closer into the black hole, you'll increase more of a gravitational pull. This will actually pull your body apart into smaller and smaller pieces, until they start reaching the size of single atoms. At the same time, the black hole will severely deform space and time. This means that not only are you getting compressed horizontally, it will feel that you're being squeezed through a funnel. Astrophysicists have a process for this. It's called spaghettification. This word is probably one of the most awesome words around, and I really want to use it a lot more. Although there's another side to this, if you don't directly fall into a black hole, you'll actually form around the black hole, and you'll create what's known as an accretion disk. It doesn't matter either way, falling into the black hole or falling around it, you will be pretty much pulled apart. This spaghettification process will always happen. So basically, it's a pretty impossible mission for human beings. So the second question that always comes up about black holes, is a black hole like a cosmic vacuum cleaner? Well, it's a kind of yes and no question. Let me explain. Over time, some black holes have accreted matter of a magnitude of millions to maybe billions of solar masses, either because of the material that they've taken in or the merging of other black holes. But also there's a flip side to this because most of the matter around a black hole doesn't actually directly fall into it. It's like the planets in our solar system. They're not actually sucked in by the mass of the sun. If the sun was substituted for a black hole the same mass of our sun, then the planets will continue to orbit in exactly the same way as they orbit the sun right now. These black holes do not have any mechanism to directly suck in any matter. The Sun itself orbits the center of the Milky Way, which contains a supermassive black hole, but it is not moving towards the center. The reason why some material is very close to the black hole is because of friction between the orbiting matter close to the black hole. This is known as the accretion disk. So how can we be sure there is no black holes that surround the solar system? Well, even though it's impossible to actually view a black hole, we would actually notice the presence of a black hole. The reason is gravitational lensing. This is a severe distortion of light coming from an object behind a black hole, but is also in the same line of direction. The black hole would bend space and time in its vicinity, so any light passing close to the black hole would be deflected too. A great example of this would be called the Einstein ring. This is a great characteristic of gravitational lensing. Many of these Einstein rings have been observed all around distant galaxy clusters. But don't forget, it is also possible to detect compact objects like neutron stars in the same way too. The closest known black hole to us is a black hole in the Orion Nebula, which is 1300 light years away. So, I hope you enjoyed the video on black hole questions and I hope you've learned a lot about the misconceptions of black holes. 
And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.